hi guys it's Tam welcome back to my channel Bible journaling on a budget today I'll be doing a little bit of scripture journaling in my handmade travelers notebook and this was suggested to me by one of my friends and subscribers here on YouTube Adebo and so just trying to figure out what did I want to you know break back into as I upload it here on my Bible journaling channel and she suggested you know that I just do some scripture journaling in my my, uh, traveler's notebook so it was an awesome suggestion and I thought that's what I would do and so it's not going to be anything major it's just going to be me putting some elements down on the pages and then writing out the scripture so the first one you're going to see me do I actually already glued a illustrated faith journaling card down there um several weeks ago and i was just i wanted it on the page and i didn't know exactly when i would be coming back to it to write down um, a scripture on it or even if it would be a scripture i didn't know exactly it could have been a short prayer or whatever but i decided to write jeremiah uh, 17 and 7 which was one of my uh bible verses for this past week and so um that scripture card or not scripture card is more like a journaling card but you can make it into whatever you want I'm gonna write the scripture on that and then I'm gonna put some washi tape at the top of the page and that's gonna be pretty much it for this particular entry and so uh, the card itself says memories at the top and at the bottom it says make it all worth it and the scripture for this particular day Jeremiah 17 7 reads the man who trusts in the Lord whose confidence whose confidence indeed is the Lord is blessed so that's what I wrote for that particular entry on that little card and so you're gonna see me write that down here in just a second and that's it so I have uh, stated several times here on my channel and I guess it can never be said enough it doesn't have to be complicated guys it doesn't have to be expensive you can you know get a few elements find your style and that's what you could use to do your Bible journaling or scripture journaling or just prayer journaling whatever it is that uh, suits you God lays on your heart to dive into it doesn't have to be complicated or expensive you know we have a lot of bells and whistles I love stickers and washi and all the um, other things but you don't need them right so if you can't afford all of that stuff you know just journal with what you have and so for the second entry I took some uh, calico paper that I actually um, have been hoarding and I just cut down a small piece to fit on this um, graph paper and I'm going to attach a card to it a project life card that just says thankful grateful and blessed and that's going to be pretty much it for that particular um, back side of that page. So I love the print of that um, calico pattern on this paper. It's supposed to be like some faux wallpaper that I got from Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago. And I've been hoarding it, haven't used it. And so I just decided to break it out today. And I just used it as the background pattern for uh, this little card thankful grateful blessed which we all are and so my last and final page is going to be that music paper that you see there on the right and uh, once again I took some decorative paper double-sided decorative paper that I got from Tuesday morning and I chose to decorate with the yellow side of the paper it's like a yellow checkered print and the journaling card that I'm going to use is actually from a Maggie Holmes um, journaling card set that I also got from Tuesday morning from their clearance department. So I decided to use that and it comes with a little journaling card inside a pouch that's already sewn onto some decorative paper. And so that's what you see me doing now. I'm just going to glue down the decorative paper, double-sided decorative paper that I have here. And then on that decorative paper, I'm going to attach a pocket journaling card from uh, one of Maggie Holmes' product lines. I don't know exactly which one it is, but that's the one I'm going to um, use for this particular entry. 
and so just putting some of my trusty Fabri-Tac on the back which uh, never fails to adhere you know all different kinds of elements Fabri-Tac is really strong and it's my go-to glue for the most part but I attached that pocket journaling card onto that yellow checkered pattern paper and then I'm going to pull the card out write my scripture on it which in this case is John chapter 1 verse 29 which says the next day John saw Jesus coming toward him and said here is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world amen and so that's what I wrote on that particular uh, card and um, it still looked kind of plain and so I'm going to grab some little sticker elements from a pebbles sticker sheet which I also think I got from Tuesday morning as well and I'm going to put that down um, at the top and the bottom of the page so before the video comes to a close I just want to say that I have missed you guys tremendously and I know several people have reached out to me as well trying to figure out where in the world am I is everything okay I'm worried about you it's not like you to stay away for so long but I've just been collecting my thoughts and you know just praying and just trying to get myself together and even in that process I was still staying busy I moved to a new New craft space which I will be uploading a tour of this space on my other channel so make sure you're subscribed to that channel in the description of the video is my email address my Instagram account my PO box and my other channel which is a crafting channel where I do non Bible journaling related related things and so it's Tam's journals and that's linked down below if you don't want to miss that uh, craft tour video that I'll try to upload in the next couple of weeks so um, I'm wrapping up the page, putting down those sticker elements that I mentioned before. And that's pretty much it, guys. It's not overly complicated at all. You know I don't like complicated. I like simple journaling, simple, cute journaling using most of the time some of the same elements. That just works for me. But you can make your journaling as complicated or even, as, um, even more simple than I do if that's what suits you there is no right or wrong way to journal you do it in the style that suits you best so the video is coming to a close I'm just flipping back and forth just because I like the feel of the paper in my hand and that's pretty much it guys I love you I've missed you and I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video until then you guys be blessed bye